out and about Marathon Town with Mr. Marathon himself, Mike Pudo. Hello everybody, Mike Pudo here and our Out and About series continues now with the City of Marathon. Hello everybody, Mike Pieto and Out and About Marathon Town and this morning we're talking to Pete Worthington who's also a commercial fisherman here aboard the Lady Mary 5. Good nice to have you on board, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me there Mike and uh, nice to see you. Well it's, uh, you know, what we're doing is we're out, you know, showing the area and being a, uh, uh, being a homegrown, homespun gentleman for for a marathon being here almost of your life, haven't you? Oh, uh, the last 39 years. Wow, you know, that's uh, that's really kind of exciting. And what what do you see now, having been on the council now five years and, uh, you know, going forward into the next year, what, what do you see that's gonna pop up for marathon? Well, I, you know, we're coming to completion on our sewer project. We've been working on that for about four years. We're gonna be one of the only areas of Monroe County, besides Key West and Key Colony Beach, that actually has all of our uh, all of our residents and businesses hooked up to sewer by March of 2012. So that's that's a real positive thing. We're taking responsibility for our near shore waters and we're gonna have some of the cleanest waters in uh, Monroe County here in the very near future. Well, I know that, uh, you know, prior to getting on the uh, city council, you were uh, very much involved with uh, Boot Key Harbor and all the stuff, and cleaning up Boot Key Harbor. And, uh, you know, what do you think about what's happened out there? It's really kind of neat, isn't it? Yeah, there's been a, a real, good trans transgression or transition in Bukey Harbor. We went from uh, an unmanaged harbor with not many pump out facilities to now we have pump out facilities for all the boats in the harbor. We have mooring field there. We have administration that oversees the mooring field. We have dinghy docks. We're providing services to the boaters that come in and visiting boaters that come in. It's uh, really a great place. It's one of the most protected safe anchorages on the whole east coast of the United States and uh, the largest mooring field I believe also on the east coast of the United States. So it's it's doing real good compared to what we had there 12 years ago. It's come a long ways and it's one of the uh, one of the most sought after uh, places for boaters to come to in the Florida Keys. Well as Marathon looks to becoming a port of entry that's going to play a big role in the harbor isn't it? Oh yeah absolutely it's uh, going to be a port of entry for cruise into the Bahamas and to uh, further Grand Caymans, possibly Cuba in the near future. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of positive things as far as Marathon being a port of entry. Now, I've noticed that uh, one of our council meetings about a couple, two or three weeks ago where uh, the Ferro Blanco project got approved and they're starting to move forward uh, as they did with uh, the Holiday Inn project here at the north end of town. And uh, what, what do you see as the future for the west end there? Things going to start jumping and hopping? Oh yeah, Ferro Blanco used to be one of the premier destination resorts in Marathon and it's been, uh, it's had some problems redeveloping over the last seven or eight years, but I think they're on their way to becoming a, a Hyatt and uh, it'll be a great trade name to have and, and it's uh, it's going to be a po very positive uh, influence for Marathon. It's going to be a, a definite boost for the economy here and produce a lot of jobs and uh, be a great place for relatives to come stay when they come down and visit you instead of staying in my spare bedrooms. <laughs> I think that's great. And uh, how long have you, now that we're on, on board your vessel here, how long have you been a commercial fisherman pulling lobsters and stone crabs and that kind of stuff? How long have you been doing this? I've been doing about 37 years, lobster fishing, 37 years. I did stone crab and I got out of that two years ago, but primarily I lobster fish and I do a little bit of charter fishing when I'm not lobster fishing. And it's uh, about 37 years on the lobster, about 32 years on the charter fishing. Oh, that's exciting. Well, you know, it's, it's nice to have uh, somebody on the council that's, as they say, homegrown, homespun, knows the area, you've been here, been to school here, you name it. Uh, the family's been here for many, many years, and it's, uh, it's kind of neat. You've done a lot of great things on the city council, and uh, let's, let's hope that uh, as the future goes, Marathon will continue to grow and do very well. Yeah, I think Marathon's going to do good. It's, uh, you know, we've got a lot of amenities in town here. We've got a country club with a golf course for people to like to golf. Uh, of course, fishing and diving is our number one thing, but there's a, there's a lot of other things down here. You've got eco parks down here. You've got Curry Hammock State Park. Uh, 10,000, uh, or not 10,000, uh, I think it's about 2,500 acre state park in Marathon. It's uh, got some great facilities up there. You have Bay of Honda State Park about 12 miles to the west of us. I mean, there's a lot of positive things for people to do and, and see when they're down here in Marathon. You got uh, uh, 
Crane Point. It's talking about putting in a zip line over there, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of things to do when you're in Marathon besides beaches and swimming and uh, diving and fishing. There's well, and it's, and it's really nice to see the uh, the new things happening uh, happening out on US One. With uh, of course, you know, the roads being paved, and they're going to put the final layer on sometime in the next couple, three or four weeks. And you're also looking at new traffic lights and new street lights. So there's a lot of a lot of positive things popping up. No doubt about it. Yeah, the infrastructure is uh, really improved. We've uh, done road overlays for all a marathon. We've also done uh, US-1 road overlays that DOT is currently doing. Uh, storm water throughout the entire city has been com near completion. So we've done a lot of positive things here in the very recent past. Well, that's exciting. And, and again, thank you for having us on board your boat. And we really, really appreciate you working with us and uh, telling us all the neat things that are happening in Marathon. Councilman, thank you very much, buddy. We sure do appreciate it. All right. Nice having you on board. Until next time.